everyone, it's Julia. I have been into bees lately and I wanted to create a bag today. And so I thought I'd film it for you. I've just went through my stash and found this wonderful sunflower fabric that I've had forever. And then also this one that has be humble, be kind, be happy on it. I'll link it down below if I can find that. I just love this fabric. Someone had stamped some images and sent them to me and I just love this B image on here. So I'm gonna be using one of those and also this piece. And I believe this is printed um, just uh, on a printer. And I did test it to make sure that it was um, washable and I think it'll be fine. So let's get started here. I have my pieces cut. I'll put all the me measurements down below in the description. Um, but I wanted to put this fusible feet fleece on the back side of my of my fronts of my my bag so this is the front of the bag and I'm just going to be pressing that into place and I also put that on the back the back side of the back of the bag so you can see I have both the front the front and the back there and this is onto onto a pocket I'm going to fold this in half just to get the the, the center mark here um, this is going to be a, a boxed zipper pocket, which is going to be on the back of my of my little bag. I'm measuring back down about an inch and a half there, and I'm drawing a rectangle. This rectangle is approximately six inches. And then I, I move it down about three-eighths of an inch, and I'm going to, again, draw that six-inch little stripe strip there. And you can see their rectangle that I have drawn on. I'm going to be placing that now on the back side of my, of my purse. Lining it up on the top and just placing some pins. I'm going to be taking this to my sewing machine and I am going to be stitching that rectangle. I do use a shorter length stitch. I have it all sewn now. Now, that, uh, now I'm on to drawing my cut line. I'm just going to draw a line right in the center of this rectangle and I'm going to show you here in a piece of paper what I'm doing. Notice I'm just I'm going to be cutting right down the center of my rectangle and also doing a little triangle to each of my corners. Being very careful not to cut any of my stitches, especially in the corners here, just angling that up. To form a triangle at each of my little corners. Now pushing that pocket through to the back here and we'll be just using my fingers to get this nice and smooth. This is very similar to, to making a wealth pocket. If any of you did any construction way back when, when we used to make wool pockets and bound buttonholes, kind of similar to that. I used to be so scared of this, but boy, it goes, it's really a simple way to add a zippered pocket on the back of a bag. Now I have my rectangle, just pressing that out. And then I'm gonna be taking this to my sewing machine and I'm gonna to top stitch all the way around this. Just again, getting it nice and smooth. One final press and then I'll take it to my sewing machine. I'm going to zigzag the top of this zipper just to make so it's nice and close that want that other end and then I'm using quarter inch um, zipper tape this is a, a tape that's sticky on both sides and I'm just putting that onto my zipper on my zipper tape lining it up to the edge this is such an easy way to add a zipper into this little rectangle it's sticky and it's kind of sticking to my fingers, but I am just getting it pressed down and just smoothed out and then removing the paper. And then we'll just be placing this underneath, getting that zipper even in the middle. And then we'll be top stitching this going all the way around and my zipper will be in place. 
and you can see what it looks like. I have white thread in the bobbin so you can see that rectangle. Now I can just remove the rest of this, this zipper tape. Putting that pocket up to meet the top and then we'll be just folding this back and we'll be um, stitching the side seams on this pocket. I'm not going to be stitching the top of my pocket at all because that's going to be closed when I put the top zipper in my bag. I just need to close the sides for now. And there we have it. It's all, all complete and now we're on to the next pocket. We're going to be putting this patch pocket on the front with this cute little image of this bee. Just adding a top fabric and a bottom fabric to it. And then I wanted to add some fusible fleece on the back of this pocket just to give that a little bit more structure. And then we'll be taking this to my sewing machine and then just doing some stitching just on the on the seams there just to add a little bit of detail. Have that complete. Now for the lining. Again, this is just the polka dotted lining that I'm going to be adding to my main bag as well. And I'm just going to line this pocket, leaving the bottom open. Just getting some of the excess fabric out of the way turning it and we'll be pressing this pocket. This is a, a piece of cork and this is the cork that has a knit back on it and I'm going to be cutting a circle from this cork. I love using this cork because it doesn't fray and it just adds a fun little element to different things. And there's my little circle. This is a, the fabric, or my, excuse me, my Sizzix Big Shot that I used. And then I'm, I added a snap to the front. I forgot to film it, but I'll show you the other side of the snap. I just added a snap to the top there and then covered that with that cork. Just an easy way to add a snap and just covering that, that um, washer up. Stitching that into place and now adding the other part of my washer, or, or excuse me, my snap. And figuring out where I need to, to make my little cuts. Just using a, a seam ripper for this. And then poking that other part of that snap through there and then adding that washer. And then I'm just taking my fingers and bending those, that pr those prongs down. And my, my snap is complete. It's on and it's, it'll, it's just kind of nice to have a closure on the top of your pocket. One more pocket I wanted to add, just a patch pocket to my lining. Just turning this under about, oh, about three-fourths of an inch and then another three-fourths of an inch. This will be the top of my, my patch pocket. And then just turning down the, the bottom of my pocket just once here and just going to iron that. We'll stitch this top into place. And now it's time just to, to add the bottom stitching. And then I'm going to put a line right down the middle of this pocket so it's, it's a divided pocket. You can see it there. Really easy patch pocket for the inside of this bag on the lining. All my pockets are done now and it's on to the zipper part. Easy way to add a zipper. I'm just putting a clip right at the beginning there. My, my zipper is, fa is facing down. Now I'm adding my lining and so I have a basically have a zipper sandwich here and that zipper is right in the, in the middle of those two pieces. My lining is um, wrong side or right side down, so my right sides are facing each other. And again, adding some more clips. And that zipper is all three of my edges are meeting. That zipper is right in the center. 
and I'm going to take a quarter inch seam allowance and I'm just going to sew that zipper in. One side done, I do want to take this to the back now, do some pressing and then top stitch this zipper into place. One side done, now it's the other side. Just flipping this down again, um, putting my, my um, zipper in the center or in, in, the, in the middle. I'll have my front and my lining. You want to make sure everything is lined up, not only at the top there, but on the, on the left hand side as well. Just adding my lining piece now. And again, that zipper is sandwiched in between. And adding one more um, quarter inch seam allowance. Now for the handle. I do want my handle to be about 60 inches long. This is going to be a cross body bag. So I'm adding a couple different strips here. It's three inches wide, so it's three inches and then the total length will be 60 inches. I'm mitering my corners there just to add this piece. Now notice I love, I love adding different fabrics, different textures, um, just a different, it just adds some fun and whimsy, whimsy to the bag. I have that seam mitered now and I'm just opening that up just to eliminate some bulk and now I'm going to be pressing this in the center and then, in, and then meeting again in the center. So the finished strap will be 60 inches long by 3 fourths of an inch. And then I'm going to stitch both sides all the way down. It's all stitched and now I'm cutting 2 inches, two 2 inch strips. And this is going to be for my, my strap holder. And then also onto these stamped images. I decided just to cut two of these little bees out and we'll be folding this into half and I'm going to just use this as a as a tab on the side side of my bag. Just thought it'd be fun. These little strap holders are about an inch down. This is such an easy way to add a strap and I just hope you get some inspiration from it. It's it's been a fun way to to add a strap and it makes it adjustable as well. So just placing those on the front side of my bag about an inch down and then just adding this tab as well. I'm going to be stitching these into place just so I have them in the right in the right it, right spot when I when I do my next step here. I'm just going to stitch them. Now to, to finish my bag, you do want your zipper open, but you want that zipper pull not off the edge. You want it on, on the, um, the little bag there. Adding clips right at the zipper part. My zipper is facing the lining. Just getting everything all nice and even. Adding my clips. I will be leaving an opening in my, my um, the lining. I'm just marking it there. And we'll be stitching all the way around. It's all stitched. It's time to st I'm gonna miter there or just box these corners. I'm just gonna form like a one inch little box at the bottom of each of these. Also did it on my lining piece. And now passing all that through and getting that bag through the lining, through that zipper and through that, that opening in the lining. Poking everything out. I always love the reveal at the end just to see what it all is going to look like. And then closing that, that little um, hole that I left in my lining. Just going to stitch, that, press that and stitch that. And here's what it looks like. The only thing I have left is to add that strap. I'm just going to take that strap and I'm just going to 
draw it through that little tab and just um, tie a knot. I love this because you can adjust it then. If you want it shorter, you just tie the knot further up. And that is what it looks like. Wanted to add another one. I have a, a couple different designs that I used. Um, these I stenciled it and put be happy and be humble little pouch. And then a little bit larger pouch and this added another one of those little B images to the back. There's so many different ways you can use that. Thank you so much everybody who sends me these wonderful images. It's just been so fun to work with them. I hope you enjoyed this everybody. I hope you learned something and hope it's inspired you to create this week. Bye for now.